Hello owners and Michael Costa Racing fans. I'm down at the English Classic Sale and I've just run up from doing inspections to give a quick little preview on our weekend runners up and which are up and coming. We kick off on Friday night. We head up to the Sunshine Coast with Brave Nick and Far Reaching. Brave Nick, there's been a few scratchings out of this race, but there's still a few of the top rated horses which have decided to run. Brave Nick was a little bit disappointing there at Sunshine Coast last start. He well, he did roll out as favourite. He's definitely no world beater, and he's probably going to find his mark eventually. But uh, look, he's come on well from from that last run. He's worked really well on Tuesday, and hopefully he can get back to being competitive. I wouldn't be able to push him as a as a betting proposition, as I'm just not sure when he's going to reach reach his mark. But uh, look, he's got an apprentice on to take a few kilos off, and he should be should be rolling forward. So we'll just have to see how uh, how he goes tonight. We then got Far Reaching, who was a little bit uh, had a tough run in his first up run, uh, had a big blow after that, and has come on come on well since the run. His work on Tuesday didn't blow our socks off, but we didn't have the blinkers on him in his workout on Tuesday, and we found that he is a horse which does really sharpen up with the blinkers. So there's a little bit of depth in this race for a maiden, but look, if he ran up to his last run, he should be in the in the finish. I wouldn't be able to declare him, but uh, I'd like to think he'd be in a in a in a top four position if he gets the right run in transit and runs up to that last run. We then head over to Doomben on Saturday. Axe will be coming out. We'll be holding onto him for another day. There's a few changes. Hassan's Revenge, he'll be coming out as well, looking to run him on Sunday. Sir Rocket drawn the outside gate. Super Giant also drawn the outside gate as well. So Sir Rocket worked on Tuesday, worked the house down. I thought he was his best work to date, but I just don't know where he's going to get to in the run. He's going to need all the luck in, in the world, and Tegan Harrison's going to have to give him a 10 out of 10. If he does uh, get the right run in transit, he can definitely give the race a shake, but I'm just not sure what he's going to get to. He's going to need a lot of luck. Super Giant, same category. He's uh, drawn wide. We're really looking for him to step up to that 2,000 metre mark. There's not a lot of uh, races which play in that ballpark in the calendar moving forward. So we're most likely going to run on Saturday, get the run under the belt and then step him up once we find that right 2,000 metre race. Again, wouldn't be able to push him as a betting proposition even though he's working well. I just don't know where he's going get to get to from the run. We most likely try and roll forward and see, uh, see how he goes from there. Saturday, the Ritz, he's come down to, to Randwick and found a nice race. Another outside gate, 10 out of 10. He did leave a bit of feed today, so we're going to have to make a last-minute call to see if we do run uh, tomorrow morning. So we'll make a decision tomorrow morning on him. And then finally, we had uh, we also got Harvester, another outside gate at the uh, at the Gold Coast over 1800. Extremely hard to win from from there. What we'll do with him, we'll wait and see what the scratchings bring. There's a fair few scratchings we'll consider running. If not, we'll hold on to him for another week. And then finally, the Sunshine Coast Hustlers Revenge has drawn well. Uh, finds a class one 1300 it's difficult for a horse to break their maiden and then go straight to a class one and win but look his work on tuesday was good and based on the barrier his work on tuesday is probably going to be our best best chance of the weekend the way that uh the way the cookie has crumbled with everything so not a lot of confidence from the gates so we just have to see how it all, all unfolds on the weekend strike rate might take a little bit of a copying uh this week but um should be able to bounce back um, once we get a bit of luck our way in the uh, in the coming weeks. Good luck, everyone. Yeah.